So a little bit of a sad but needed update video today about the Davis Industries company and trailers. It's too cold and windy to do it outside. We do have a 20 foot detachable gooseneck RGN in stock, but it will be our last unit for a long period of time, unfortunately. So here's one of the necks. Nice to be able to get a close up of this though. And that's the frame and the forklift system that moves it around and the little mount for when it's setting. The mount for the spare tire up top. And you can kind of see the workmanship. Excellent situation. So here's the, here's the backstory. Here's the good, bad, and the ugly. Davis Industries, even though we are Davis Auto Sales, Davis Water Sports, Davis Off-Road and Performance, we are not Davis Industries. What we are for Davis Industries was the sales facility. We were the largest volume purchaser and basically their retail seller after things got going. Now they did sell directly to some customers prior, but once it worked out, they were good at building, we were good at selling, the partnership kind of came together. Well, unfortunately, the bad news is at this moment, the company is on hold in a restructuring pattern. There's a uh, husband and wife ownership and you can read between the lines and probably figure out where this is going. Well, they hold the patent for this and it is a great product. We originally went with them to build a trailer for our monster truck. People ask, why do you need a monster truck trailer? You can drive a monster truck on anything. I can drive a monster truck on that ramp or rack. Yeah, but the low height is the big deal and the low center of gravity. And that solved the problem. Well, lo and behold, it also solves a problem for lulls, big forklifts, all kinds of equipment if you don't want to use a tractor trailer. So, lo and behold, this came about, and over the last couple of years has been an excellent partnership. One of the few partnerships we've ever dealt into because most people do not do things the way we want it done. But this was a good relationship. They built a good product. We were able to do modifications. If the customer wanted something done differently, we could do it. Um, you know, all kinds of little things that people want to do or change or you know, whatever. But anyway, long story short, at this time, please, no calls on these trailers because we cannot order them. We cannot build them. Everything is in a hold. Not saying we will not. Who knows how things may go over the next couple months but we were already at a 90 to 120 day behind situation. So we will be way worse than that when time comes. We're saying possibly some stuff in 2025, but again, things could change, but at this moment, things are on hold. We have one 20 foot well trailer in stock, 26,000 GVWR, uh, probably 7,500 pounds, empty weight, so. You can do the math of what you can carry on that. Um, great trailer. It's the shorter length, but still good. Uh, we do have a few pieces and parts in stock. People very commonly break this item right here because they forget about it when they go to unhook, which is the safety. And it crushes it and it bends it. So we do have these in stock, the bar in stock, the handle in stock, the tab in stock. Of course, you have to weld it in. It doesn't slide in. But if you have a welder, we can sell you the rest. If you break one of these safeties, any good welding shop should be able to help you out. We did start adding the color here, just so people don't forget it. It's right there in your face. And as a matter of fact, when we reinstall them, we put the handle at a different angle. So that's like literally, you're reaching down to hit the button right here. It's in your face. So kind of subliminal, but it gets forgotten. Even our transport guy forgot after all these trailers, he forgot on one of the last ones and he literally wanted to quit his job. He was so embarrassed, but anyway, it happens. So probably one of the only things we ever see happen. We have seen one person not latch the tongue in properly right here and, uh, and screwed that up. But 
we were able to help him out. Actually, one of our local customers, great guy. So, anyway, that is the update of Davis Industries trailers currently. Everything is in a hold pattern. Uh, we look to hopefully give you better information here soon. If you go to the website, you will see the same thing. We just have to have a universal front on this that everything is in a hold pattern. Everything is being restructured. Hope things work out, but uh, where things currently are, we just can't get a definitive answer. So no need sugarcoating it, lying, making excuses. At this moment, one 20 foot trailer available, that is it. Feel free to call us for that one or any of your parts needs. We'll help the best we can, but again, very limited supply of what we have available other than some simple items. So davisautosales.com, davis4x4.com. Over here in our overflow showroom, which is a disaster. This is daily where the tow trucks come in and out and get equipped. That's this morning already. Lots of equipment, safety gear, getting fulfilled into the trucks, dollies in stock, lots of other gear arriving. So davisautosales.com, davis4x4.com. And showroom's getting ready to be done for the some of these other toys. So, thanks for watching. Davis Industries trailer update, November 1st, 2023. As more information comes about, we will get it posted.